friends, what's going on everyone? My name's Kai, welcome to the channel. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the three rarest Nintendo 64 accessories and video games in my entire collection. When I was living in Japan recently, I picked up so many amazing and unique uh, video game items. It was just so much fun, but my main priority was collecting for the Nintendo 64. And there was so many things that I had never discovered before when I went down there. And I picked up three of them and I just wanted to show them to you because I'm sure that w at least one of these items, I guarantee you, you've never seen before. If you're a big Nintendo 64 fan, stick around because uh, we're gonna have some fun today. The the first thing that I want to show you guys is the Nintendo 64 fishing rod. So this here, uh, here's the box. I've got it in the box and everything. So uh, here's the Nintendo 64 fishing rod. It was released just for uh, just for a single game. I have the game here as well. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce this, but uh, the game was uh, the the game is a RPG fishing game, a full RPG fishing game. It's it's a lot of fun actually, um, a lot of fun. But the main the main event here is the actual fishing rod controller. The fishing rod controller is so goddamn cool. So I've used it a couple times. It works fully with the cast off. It's got rumble in it, uh, the reel works. But the thing that I think is the coolest thing about this is if you look, it's still a fully functioning uh, Nintendo 64 controller. It's a very strangely shaped Nintendo 64 controller, but it still does work. So while the, uh, the actual fishing controls only work for this one specific game, uh, the rest of the controller works as a normal controller. So, if you want to uh, finagle your way and, and kind of hold this thing like a bop it while you play the Nintendo 64, it is something that's doable. As a matter of fact, on one of my upcoming streams, I'm going to be trying to beat The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time using just the fishing rod controller. Uh, the second thing that I want to show you, and now this is so, so, so cool. Did you guys know that the Nintendo 64 had online capabilities? So you could play through dial-up internet against your friends on the Nintendo 64. Well, they didn't have it in North America, but they did have it in Japan. And funnily enough, for all of the sports games, for all the Mario Party games, for all of the multiplayer games that the Nintendo 64 had, this feature was only used on a single game on a Mahjong game. <laughs> you would think out of all of the things that you could turn into an online gaming experience on the Nintendo 64, um, I think Mahjong is a hilarious choice for it. But what's great about this box is you can see it's a pretty thick box, right? And when you open it, you'll notice that uh, it comes with it comes with a telephone cord. And you're like, okay, what am I gonna do with this telephone cord? Well, this Nintendo 64 cartridge has a modem on top of it. <laughs> this thing has a modem on top of it. So essentially what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to plug your phone line into it and then uh, connect to your Japanese service, uh, to your Japanese, uh, internet service provider and then you would be able to in the 90s play against your friend in a game of mahjong i think that is so so unique and uh when i saw this sitting on the shelf i had to immediately pick it up because it's just so cool a nintendo 64 game with a modem built into it so cool um, and then lastly, this is very cool too. So, one genre of um, video games that is huge down there are train simulators. There are, I think there's four or five different train simulator 
uh, com not companies, but but video game brands like there, there's Denture de Go. There's there's several different series that all revolve around driving the trains in Japan. So uh, the Nintendo 64 also got one of those releases. This is uh, a release of Denture de Go for the Nintendo 64. Denture de Go is probably the most well-known train simulator game in Japan. Uh, it's been around in the arcade since uh, the early 90s and it's just gone on from there. As a matter of fact, there's a Denture de Go game on the Nintendo Switch, so this series is still going on all the time. Uh, what's really cool about this though is um, not only is the, uh, the, the, the train game like a, a cool concept for a game, um, but it also came with its own train conducting controller. <laughs> so, um, again, this is uh, this is a full Nintendo 64 controller with uh, with train controls on it. It's even got a stop a uh, 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 spot for the pocket watch if you are uh, doing expert mode. And uh, I just thought that's so cool. So um, I will be doing a stream of this uh, sometime soon, but this is just so, 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 so cool. And uh, when I found this, I found the set together and uh, it was at a it was at a video game store uh, called Book Off in Japan. And what's really nice about Book Off is the prices are great. The prices are absolutely great. So I was able to pick up the controller and the game, I think for 30, uh, for 3,000 yen, which is about $30. Um, I use a website called pricecharting.com to uh, gauge the value of my video game collection. And when I searched up this controller, uh, it was worth about $150 and the game was worth about 60. So very, very good deal there, very good deal. Guys, that's my video. I just wanted to make a, a short video showing off some of the really, really cool, unique things in my Nintendo 64 collection. I am certain that a lot of you didn't know that there was a Nintendo 64 cartridge that you could use online. That's so cool. And uh, I had no idea that there was a fishing rod controller before. I went to Japan. So I hope this was informative. I'm going to be making a lot more gaming videos. Uh, my next video uh, that's gaming related coming up is going to be talking about my uh, top three rarest uh, Famicom games. It's going to be a lot of fun. So guys, until then, I will talk to you soon and uh, stay safe and have a great day. Bye guys. ソバーリビング。